And talk about a wild night in all of hers. Take a look. A paraglider stuck in power lines for hours right near a local airport. Yeah, the call came in around dinner time. And keep in mind, this knocked out power to thousands of people today. ABC 10's Kevin John is live at the rescue site tonight. Kevin and crew still there? Yeah, Chris, crews are actually still here right now. Matter of fact, if you could look behind me, you can see crews from PG&E working to restore the power lines up there. So listen to this. When the paraglider collided with these power lines, the equipment from his stuff actually destroyed one of those lines, which is why they're still working to repair that. But it has definitely been a long, frightening ordeal for everyone out here involved tonight. And fortunately, it had a happy ending. Take a look at what the scene was like out here earlier this evening. It was likely the longest three hours of his life. This paraglider stuck on these power lines, patiently waiting for crews to rescue him. It all started just after 5 p.m. when the Oliver's Fire Department received a 911 call that a paraglider crashed into these power lines. But the rescue wasn't that simple. Due to the fact that he crashed into power lines, it provided a bit of a challenge. Uh, the difficulty was making sure that the lines were de-energized to make sure that our firefighters were safe before, before we could make patient contact. Keep in mind, it took nearly two hours for PG&E to ground all the power lines. When it was finally deemed safe for the rescue attempt, the fire department retrieved him in less than 10 minutes, and he was quite relieved to come back down to earth. After the rescue, PG&E immediately started working on taking down the paraglider's gear. Now, when the paraglider finally did come down and was put in a stretcher, he was in great spirits. He was smiling. He even gave the fist up to everybody that was in the area to let us all know that he'll be all right. Now, in regards to the power that is out right now, I'm told by PG&E that currently 400 people are without power, but they are hoping to have that power restored within the next hour.